Hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Let's see what's making news. The UN's given the world its latest emissions report card. And, well, we're not doing too well. It says countries need to be doing much more to stop the world from warming up. Here's Michelle. It's no secret the climate is struggling. I mean, look at this year's floods and droughts and fires. Climate change is the crisis of our lifetime. If we are not able to reverse the present trend that is leading to a catastrophe in the world, we will be doomed. Yeah, it's not great. The UN chief is talking about a new report, which looks at how the world is tracking to reduce carbon emissions and limit global warming. The goal is to keep the global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. But at the moment, we're on track for a 2.5 degree rise, which the UN says is just not good enough. Last year at the COP26 climate summit conference, world leaders agreed to set better targets for carbon emissions by COP27, which is this year's conference. And it starts next week. But just 24 out of 193 countries have actually done what they've promised. That's a lot of countries not doing their homework. Even though emissions are slowly going down each year, the UN says it needs to happen much faster. Otherwise, like this guy said, we will be doomed. New Zealand's Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern has just taken a trip to Antarctica. She is there to mark the 65th anniversary of New Zealand's Scott Base, which is about to get a $344 million upgrade. Speaking of long journeys, a bar-tailed godwit, that's one of them, has set a new record for the longest continuous bird flight. Researchers tracked the five-month-old bird as it set off from Alaska on October 13th, then flew for 11 days straight before landing 13,560 kilometres away at Anson's Bay in northeast Tasmania. Every dog owner knows their puppy pal is one of a kind. And now you can prove it. A company in South Korea has developed a new way of individually identifying dogs using their nose print. Hey, Here's Joe. P on the car tyre. One of you in this room is responsible, and I'm going to find out who. Hmm. The right to remain silent, hey? Oh, well, come on. Clearly it's the dog. Ah, that's what they all say. Luckily for me, not for you, one of you left your prints on the car. Yep, there's no hiding from print recognition. Fingerprints have been used to identify people for more than a hundred years. But now, a company called iSciLab in South Korea is doing the same thing for our fluffy friends with their snoots with a new app called Annie Puppy. It's a 3D biometric algorithm that we have now put into smartphones so that you can take pictures of the nose patterns and use it to identify each animal. See, just like fingerprints, dogs' nose patterns are completely unique. So users can register their pet's sniffer and attach their details to it in the app. This new tech isn't for stopping puppy crime though, if that's even a thing. It's designed to help the Korean government register and keep track of dogs, and for helping owners find them if they get lost. You can use the app to communicate between the owner and whoever finds the animal and return them safely back home. And who knows, maybe it could be used to stop crime one day. You. You're innocent. So are you. But you. Now it's time for a tasty Halloween treat. <laughs> Feast your eyes on these next spooky stories. <laughs> Want some? First up, grizzly cakes made by very clever bakers. It's all happening at London's annual Cake and Bake Show. There are regular cakes here as well, but that's no fun. We want edible eyeballs and uh, putrid pumpkins. <laughs> See that massive cocoon thing? Uh, that's made of chocolate. And so is that dress. Everything here at this chocolate fair slash runway show in France is a feast for the eyes made using chocolate. And finally, Oh, you're gonna love this one. Dogs in the US state of Florida have got dressed up for a pet masquerade. There were unicorns, minions, and even a very convincing lobster. Oh, is that Prince? That's all from us today. We'll see you on Monday. Bye for now. Cheers.